This is a wiener dog, and we're looking at the aerodynamics. So we have the streamlines going around it, and they rotate. So you can see it's pretty streamlined, except for this little part here, which is this vortex rolling up, which is pretty cool. The rest of it is not too bad. There's some uh, flow separation here, and there's going to be some recirculation, I think. The flow comes over and sort of reattaches a little bit again. And the streamlines are colored with the U magnitude. So just there, you can see like between the dog's ear and the shoulder, that's where the vortex rolls up. So there's this fluid being um, like funneled into that region. That's pretty cool. This is uh, some glyphs. So these are the arrows that show where the direction of the flow, of the direction of the flow, and they're going through the, the wiener dog. So as you go to the ear, you can see that vortex roll up here. But the rest of the flow looks pretty good. And then as you go over the back of the, the dog, you see all those arrows. Like here, you can see all these arrows are really pointing downwards. And even behind it, all the arrows are pointing down, which is creating this fairly small wake. And one, one interesting thing is this wiener dog, the drag coefficient is a lot lower than another dog that we did like two months ago. So you can look at that video as well. And it seems like the wienering of the dog reduces the drag a lot. And the wiener dog actually also produces quite a bit of lift. The lift coefficient is like 0.3. So it's that's better than some wings. <laughs> so the, dra the drag you can see is pretty good because of how small that wake becomes, it looks like. This is the same plane, but now we're looking at the U magnitudes of the coloring plot. And as we play the video, we'll go through the, the dog. So as you hit the dog, you can see there's quite a bit of slower flow. But one thing to note is that um, if you look at the shape of the wake, it's, as I said, it's sort of going down a little bit. And over its noggin, there's quite a high uh, velocity. So the wiener dog is usually in a 30 meter per second flow, the free string. And over the head, it's almost 45 meters per second. So that's where a lot of that lift is coming from because the flow is going over and accelerating. So it's noggin is producing a lot of that lift we're talking about. Pretty sweet. And then you get the rest of that blue wake. And this is the UZ velocity. So blue means it's going down, red means it's going up. We're going through that same plane again. And I wanted to see this just to show how much the wake is favorable on this wiener dog. So like right there, you can see all this wake is really coming down with all that blue region here. And that's why the wiener dog is so much less draggy than a regular dog. So I think we've learned a lot here today. We've learned that to make something less draggy, you need to wiener it. So that's pretty cool. So make sure to check out the Atmosphere Hawk. It makes all of your experiments better, more accurate, your research more accurate with aerodynamics. Check out the courses that we do, link in the descriptions, and check out the International Aerodynamics Conference that we have on August, uh, October. August is the, the um, abstract submission deadline in October is when it's going to be held. Link in the description as well. Peace out. Pew.